go and do some grocery shopping. I want to go early this time just because there's huge lineups when I don't go early. So I got up early, did my makeup, and I'm going to go right now and then I will be back and I will show you guys what I got. Okay, I'm back from the store and I'm honestly so tired and hungry. So I will show you guys quickly what I have and then I'm going to make some breakfast. I didn't get much. I just got some lettuce, eggs, some seasonings, a tomato, avocado, a vinegar, salsa, sugar-free ketchup, and some parchment paper because that's what I really, really need. And okay. oh, and yeah, that's it. So very light shopping. Oh, and I got some spinach. Forgot to mention that. So when I'm hungry, it's like I can't um, concentrate. It's really strange. It's almost like I have um, low blood sugar. But I checked out with my doctor, and I don't. Oh, and I don't have like actual diagnosed um, low blood sugar like as a diabetic would but when i get hungry i get so like i don't know it's weird it's like i can't think i start sweating i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i'm just like i get so like just literally out of it and this has been happening to me like my whole life i can't even remember a time where this didn't happen to me even when i was um not keto now that i am keto still same thing like i had like really low blood sugar i get so like i can't think straight even right now i don't know if you guys can tell it's so hard for me to talk um but i'm gonna make um some eggs i have two eggs i'm gonna have some avocado with that um, some lettuce and I'm gonna have some keto bread and I'll show you guys how the finished product looks bear with me I can barely think right now but I'll be back with the food and I'll feel so much better after I eat what I'm having for breakfast. I have two eggs, some lettuce, uh, cherry tomatoes. Um, I put some hot dogs in my eggs, some ketchup on the side, avocado toast, and I had to try this ketchup because this is my first time trying it. So I was like, I'm gonna have it with some eggs. And I have some green tea as well. So I'm gonna eat this before I pass out. Okay guys, so I know you definitely clicked this video for the title that you see and the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you right now how to make a beautiful, delicious, keto friendly taco. And this recipe is super, super, super simple. I'm not the best cook. I don't know how to cook the best things. So I always look for the easiest recipes and this one is super easy. It's only three ingredients only three ingredients so let's get started and i'll show you how to make this easy and simple taco so i already got everything started for this recipe i got my cheese and in a separate bowl i have some coconut flour and some psyllium uh, husk uh, powder so i'm gonna go ahead and put this together so in the recipe 
calls for a food processor and I actually don't have a food processor so I'm gonna do it the only way I know how what I'm gonna do is microwave the cheese and then I'm gonna mix in the flour roll it out and then pop it in the oven if you have a food processor this will come out differently for you so if you have a food processor or you're gonna do it the way I do it I'm not gonna go so much into detail so go ahead and if you want to know exactly how to do this go ahead and look down in my description box because I will further explain it for you down there but I'm gonna just get this recipe started and I will show you guys the in-between processes of how it's gonna turn out using the microwave method like I am and how it turns out with a food processor like i said it's completely different go ahead and go to the description box if you want to know more in depth on how to do this recipe okay this is how it looks coming out of the microwave just go ahead and uh, stir it up and then also make sure it's cool before you end up putting the other ingredients in okay so the cheese is uh cool right now I'm just going to go ahead and add the coconut flour and the um, psyllium husk. I'm going to get that incorporated. Then I'm going to use my hands to get everything all together. And like I said before, if you're using a food processor, it's just like it comes out as a different um, texture. With the food processor, you don't have to do this part because it's going to come out like a powder. If you use this method, it starts to look like this. Oh, you guys can't even see. It starts to kind of look like that. So I'm actually adding water as I go just to like incorporate it better 